everybody. Today I'm going to be replacing the SCR box. So I already removed the skirt or the fender, the steps over here. Now, after removing this, I need to remove these uh, brackets. They are the ones that hold the steps. By removing these nice 16 bolts, there is one here, another one right there, another one right there, and another one right here. And there is four half inch bolts here. After removing those brackets, I'm going to remove this plastic cover in here using a T Tori for this bolt. Now, after removing the cover right here, I'm going to disconnect the plugs from this box. There is two plugs. I'm going to disconnect both of them by pressing this lever here. After disconnecting the two plugs, I'm going to remove this clamp by using a 10 millimeter socket. After removing the clamp, I'm going to remove this uh, needling valve cover using a T-Tory to remove these two bolts. And now I'm going to remove the mirroring valve unit uh, by removing these bolts right here. This is an E10 bolt. Uh, you can remove these three. Or you can remove the bolts and hold the mirroring valve, the plate over here. These are half inch bolts, 13 millimeters. There is another one right here and there is another one behind here. Okay, after removing the mirroring valve brackets, I'm going to remove the holes here. It's a 14 millimeter or 916 uh, holes. And then I want to remove this 10 millimeter to release the injector, the DEF injector. Everything out of the way, I'm going to go underneath and remove that clamp that is right there for the exhaust of the SCR box. And I'm going to remove these two uh, three quarter bolts. And I'm going to remove these two, these other two on the other side. After removing the bolts, these bolts over here, I'm going to remove these other two bolts and these other two bolts over here. The other side as well, we have four bolts here to remove. But before remove them, I'm going to place the transmission jack to hold the SCR box. With all the bolts completely removed, the SCR box is completely free. Now I can use the transmission jack to get it out. Okay, with the SCR out of the frame, I'm going to remove all the sensors. I'm going to remove all the plugs, the sensor, and this box. I'm going to take a remove this all over here. Inside the sensor box, I'm going to remove the knock sensor from the two of them. And I'm going to disconnect all the sensors over here, around here. Uh, it's not necessary to remove all these cables. It's just necessary to remove the knock sensors. And after that, you just disconnect the plug. Okay, all the sensors are completely removed. All the lines. As you can see, there is no plug connected to the SCR box. I'm going to remove this bracket with this little box. These are the three bolts here using a E12 socket to remove the complete box. Now I'm going to remove this tray, this cover. This is a 9mm uh, nut. Now I'm going to remove this cover here using a 10mm socket for all the bolts and the other side too using the 10mm socket. Now I'm going to remove the DTF filter because I'm going to replace it with a new one. And they don't sell a uh, SCR box with a DTF. So you have to remove them and uh, buy them individually. And I need them as a core, that's why I'm going to remove them. So I'm going to use a 15mm and a 13mm to remove the clamp. Okay, the two DTF filters are removed. I have them right here. As you can see, they have some damage to them, so that's the reason why I'm going to replace them. It's better to replace them right now. And you can see the DOCs are out, are pushed out. And that's the reason why this SCR box is not working fine. Detroit doesn't sell a service kit just to replace the DOC. So you have to buy the entire SCR box to fix this problem. Some people can push the DOCs module inside and then weld something to prevent the DOCs to come out again, but that's a temporary fix. 
Okay, so all the components of the SCR box are uh, removed. Now the last thing to do is to remove these brackets, the step brackets, with a 19 millimeter. Okay, now I'm going to use the cherry picker or the crane to uh, remove the SCR box from the uh, transmission jack and place it on my pickup truck. With everything loaded on my pickup truck, it's time to get the new parts and the new sensor. We're waiting so much time at the dealership. Finally, I got the part. Here is the part number of the complete SCR module. So I'm gonna get it off of here. I'm gonna place it on the transmission jack to install all the components. Okay, the SCR module is in the transmission jack, ready for installation. I have all the components that I need to install. The SCR comes with the gasket, with the rear clamps only. And uh, I have the sensors, all the sensors that I need for the SCR module. And I have the two DPF here. So I have all the components. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install the DPF. I'm going to place the gaskets, the B clamps and the band clamps, which are different. After installing the two new DPF filters, I'm going to say the number, the serial number of the two of them, because I'm going to need it to reset the interval, the service interval of the ash accumulator. So the next step after installing the DPF filters is to install the cover that goes around the DPF. To install the cover that goes around the DPF, you need to install the new clips that go on this orifice. But the new SCR box doesn't come with it, so you have to buy them separately. Here is the part number. And also, I'm going to need new bolts. Here are the part number of the bolts. Okay, the DPF cover, SCR cover is fully installed. Now it's time to install all the sensors. I have all the temperature sensors here. I have the location here. If you don't know the location, try to uh, research where every sensor goes. I have all the information that I need to know the right location for the sensor. After installing all the temperature sensors, I'm going to install the knob sensors. I'm going to install a new uh, inlet knob sensor because the one it has is an old style, so I want to install a new one. And I'm going to reuse the outlet because the outlet is a new sensor, so I'm going to reuse it. Okay, all the sensors are on place, including the knob sensor. Now I'm going to install the DPL pressure adapter, the inlet, and the outlet. After installing the two pressure adapters, I'm going to install the uh, box, the sensor box. The sensor box on place, I'm going to reconnect all the sensors and place the knob sensors on the right place. I'm gonna reconnect all of them. I'm gonna tie the pressure sensor, all of them, and I'm gonna secure them with zip ties or whatever is necessary to prevent any premature damage to them. The sensors are on place, tied and secure. Now it's time to place the box cover. I'm going to install the DEF injector with a new gasket and the new bolts. Okay, all the components of the SCR box are in place, they're secure, double check all the time to prevent any unwanted problems. Now, I'm going to install these brackets, the step brackets. Okay, the SCR box is ready for installation, all the components are in place. Now I'm going to install the new clamps and I'm going to clean this surface. I'm going to install the two new gaskets for the inlet and the outlet. Now I'm going to push the SCR box all the way to the frame. Now I'm going to get it up to align it with the brackets. Now the SCR box is aligned with the bolts. I'm going to style the two top ones 
and then I'm gonna install all of the bolts on this side and then I'm going to align the other side and I'm gonna install all the bolts okay the SCR box is on place all the bolts are completely aligned but uh, before tightening them I'm going to install the clamps and the pipes from the inlet and the outlet after putting the clamps on place and tightening them both of them I can tight all the bolts of the SCR box all the SCR box bolts are completely tight and secure double check now I'm going to install the milliring valve back on place in the right position I'm going to install the hose, the DEF injection hose and I'm going to place the cover back the DEF milliring valve hose the milliring valve is on place everything is tight and secure now I'm going to reconnect the two plugs back to the uh, sensor box okay the SCR box wiring is completely connected and I already secured all the cables now I'm going to install this cover back SCR box The last thing to do is to place these brackets and uh, install the steps but before doing that I'm going to start the engine and perform a regen to inspect for leaks SCR, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go to Affirmative Freeman and then we go to SCR replacement. Introduce the number here and then we go and reset SCR accumulators. You say yes. And it was completed. Now we close this. And we go to actions again after treatment and now to reset the DPS as a accumulator with the two numbers we set uh, the as accumulator say yes now just close this and the last thing to do right now is to clear all the codes so now all I need to do is to place all the components back the SCR box replacement is gonna be very similar to all DD15 and DD13 engines if you have any questions about this video just comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can Please like the video, share, subscribe.